Welcome back, everybody. Larry the Pen Book Guy here. Welcome back to another episode of Larry's Fountain Pens. But today, I am going to talk to you about briefcases. Yep, briefcases. We all need to carry some type of uh, briefcase, messenger bag, uh, tote bag, whatever it may be, to carry all our stuff in, right? Doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, we all still need something. A lady may carry her cool-looking purse or tote bag or a man could carry a briefcase or a tote. Or, it makes no difference. We need something to carry our things in and to keep them protected. We don't want things falling out or getting all busted up. Uh, and I'm talking about affordable. Uh, right here, I'm going to show you is a briefcase that I bought last year. I picked this uh, briefcase up at Home Depot, and uh, I guess not, not Home Depot, Office, Office, Office Depot. Depot. So, yeah, I got this at Office Depot. Uh, now, this isn't real leather, invitation leather, but affordable and durable. Uh, now, this briefcase uh, cost me 40 bucks. Not a bad price, because it has a warranty with it. And I'll tell you about that warranty when I get through with the briefcase. It does come in handy. Again, this is a solo uh, briefcase. That's the name of the product. And up here you see the solo emblem here. And we'll start here on the zipper. Uh, I have my field notes, notepad, and some paper. And of course I have some stuff already taken out. So I'll put that back in. But this has been a, a good, uh, dependable briefcase. Uh, and this unzips right here. And here is a portable camera and two pens, pencil. And here is another notepad, Rhodian notepad, and some um, scotch tape letter opener, glue, uh, also down here at the bottom is a pencil sharpener. Those are just a few things that I carry all the time with me. You never know when you need them. Alrighty. Uh, how's the weather where you guys are at? This morning it hit a low for for us here in Fort Worth, Texas, 16. That's cold. All right, I always carry me a hat if it rains. And I do carry me some block cards. Cool. You have them when you need them. And a notebook. Clarifying Fontaine. Of course, I have some papers that I need to uh, transfer over to a new notebook. And uh, here is a, another notepad. So, and I usually carry way more stuff in here than this. But right now, I am uh, have some stuff on my desk. So, that's why you haven't seen a whole bunch. But here in the middle compartment, I carry my iPad. And I carry my uh, headphones. And also I carry a big green envelope where I carry for all my uh, letters and I write to all my pen pals. And that comes in real handy. On this side, it's more stuffed. A notebook. This is my ink log notebook. A notepad. And I really like this paper. And a case of ink pens. I have 12 in this one. Love this case. So I'm going to leave this out for a minute because I need to show you something. Now, I bought this uh, big case last year. And uh, sometime last year, early last year, about after the third or fourth month I had it, the right here it ripped. Well, in fact, let me correct myself. I bought this in 2015. Yeah, uh, 
maybe the middle of 2015, then in 2016, it ripped. That's how it went, I think. So, uh, close to the end of 2016, I told myself, you know, why don't I get a hold of the people that make this briefcase and see if they can get this repaired or what can they do for me? Because I was going to have it sewn up, maybe. So, right here is where the terror was. Right there. It was just ripped. When I went to pick it up, this ripped. So, when I called the lady, she uh, asked me to look for the label in the bag. And I did, and I couldn't find it. She said, it's in there. You just got to really dig and look through it. Uh, but it's in there. And I looked and looked. Well, here's a label right over here. If you can see that label. Can you see that label? Okay. And that label, you turn it over, and it has a, a code number on it. So this is the label she was talking about. So what I did was I got my, uh, ca my phone camera out, and uh, she said, take a picture of that. Take a picture of where the briefcase was damaged and send it in to her. And uh, then they'll get, you'll get a reply within 24 hours, and they'll tell you what they're going to do. Well, it must have been no more than 12 hours or less. I got a reply that uh, they were sending me out a new briefcase. And this is the briefcase. So, Solo stands behind the products. So, I'll give them that. And it's a decent uh, briefcase for... 40 bucks. You know, I, I do like the straps it has. Uh, well that, that That's handy. And uh, if you don't want a shoulder strap, but you can carry it like this. And uh, it's, it's got the double zipper here. And it's got a single zipper in the middle. The only thing I wish it had was another zipper on this side. Oh, on both sides, because sometimes if you don't, if you set your briefcase on the back seat of your car, and if it's not angled a certain way, when you put on the brakes, it might uh, come forward and everything will fall out. But, you know, I just tilt it so where it won't come out and everything is cool. So, there you have it. This is my briefcase, one of them anyway. So later, I will be showing you other briefcase, backpacks, messenger bags, and tote bags, and see if this can help you decide what is right for you. Thank you for watching. Leave your comments below, and I will talk to you later. And Cubby says, hello, hello, Cub. Later.